we're sitting here in Missouri. And man, does it feel good. It's the first time I've got out and actually mobile hunted this year. It's my third total sit. And it just feels good to be in the tree. Even with it being warm, it just feels like deer hunting weather. And I'm pumped up to be out of here. I, I didn't get off work till 4.30, so it had to be one of them last minute spots. But I had a perfect wind to hunt this field edge, and I'm mainly doing it as a scouting mission. This field is private and the woods are public, but I've got permission to hunt the field. And I've been squirrel hunting up here a lot, and I've been seeing some deer, mainly does, feeding along this edge right here. And I could see from the levee where I could see up high, I knew there was a big dead spot where no beans came up. And that's where the does have been. And I didn't realize it was as far down here as it is. I figured that I, I went past it because I passed a few little dead spots. But now that I'm up in the tree, I realize it's about 200 more yards down. It's a big dead spot. And I'm sure that that's where the water was standing. And that's where I've been seeing the does hanging out. So I did get up too quick. But also, when it, the reason I went ahead and climbed up is there was this little buck that I jumped up out of the beans. He was bedded down about 150 yards out in the middle. And uh, he didn't jump up till I got past him and my wind was kind of drifting out that way. So he just caught my wind, I'm sure. He was still in full velvet. Which a, lo a little odd for September 16th here in uh, Missouri, but you never know. But I went ahead and set up just a little bit past him. I don't know if any more deer will come out right here or if they'll come out down there in that dead spot. It'd be ideal if they come out down there and then work down this way because my wind is perfect. It's like out of the southeast. And uh, that would give me just perfect, perfect ample time to shoot. So I'm not ideally set up, but I'm set up good enough for really what I wanted. I can see quite a bit and I'm hit if they do come in. It feels good, my wind's good, and I, it's hunting season, so I'm pumped up. Let's see what happens this afternoon. Maybe I'll get a shot at something, or maybe I'll see a giant out there in the beans, who knows. I done spent so much time getting ready. I think I'm just gonna sit here. 
I mainly want to observe, observe still anyway, so, and I can do that from here. The only way I was able to get into this tree was on the back side of it, because it curves, and there just wasn't a way I could sit there. So, uh, I'm facing the woods, which is actually fine if deer come from that way. Because there's actually an old logging road right here, upwind from me. And I've never really hunted it, but if the deer use it to come out to this field, it'll be about a little chip, 10 yard chip shot. So, you never know. And another bad thing is I accidentally passed up my spot where I wanted to be. My wind is blowing kind of diagonal out there. And I knew that I couldn't pass it up. So if a deer does what they did yesterday and come all the way across the field, odds are they're going to smell me. So, that stinks. But, like I said, I just want to get eyes on some deer, maybe a buck. And normally the bucks kind of hang down to this corner, so you just don't ever know. I'm going to set it out. Hopefully it'll be fun.
last I heard, the hen was over on the other side, and she was kind of yelping. So I don't know if maybe they'll work back through here, what's going to happen. It would have been perfect if that limb wasn't in the way. But you live and learn. Maybe a deer will come in here and do that. And they're not as skittish. And I've got a little opening if it would have come a little farther. But uh, I don't know, maybe it'll work. That was fun nonetheless. See you. 